Cause there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Like a dragonfly Hey, what's up? It's Corky Clark coming back to you with another video. <laughs> Today we're doing something a little bit different, something I actually couldn't find on YouTube, which is like a Facebook marketplace walkthrough. I want to look at travel tra trailers with you and just kind of talk about them and talk about what I like and what I'm looking for. I've been kind of looking at travel trailers for almost two years now, ever since I mean, even before I bought the van, I was looking at travel trailers and then I bought the van and it was a bust. If you want to see the tour of that van, it's going to be linked up up above. It was my dream and I just was fresh out of high school, jumped on it fast and I made a bad move, bad mistake. So I just recently got rid of that and have stalled for almost two years on my dream. This fall, we are leaving out even if I can't find a travel trailer, I'm taking a tent, I'm doing whatever I gotta do. So yeah, a lot of these are not in my budget at all and also not exactly what I'm looking for, but I did just wanna go through and talk about them with you because I would be happy seeing a video like this. And so I'm gonna present it to anyone else who might be like me who wants to see other people's cool Facebook Marketplace finds. Um, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm kind of looking for. I really want a travel trailer that's less than 16 foot long. If if it's 16, if it's over 16 foot, like 18 foot, I want it to be a double axle trailer, just because that feels like it'll be more stable for that length that I'm not really comfortable with. Like the ideal size that's really hard to find that I would like is 10 foot. 14 foot is good as well, and 16 foot is, like I said, maxing it out, especially on a single axle. So, yeah, and honestly, my budget is kind of really low for a trailer like that because it seems like the smaller trailers go for more money and the longer, larger tra travel trailers go for less money, which is interesting to see, but it makes sense because of the lack of smaller trailers out there, especially for a good price, like our pods and different smaller trailers that sell at retail value brand new are so expensive even now. So yes, I'm gonna itch my head. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so that's what I'm looking for. My budget is about, I wanna keep it within about 1500 if I can, but I do have a budget that can go all the way up to 25 and 15 is like doing repairs and doing like a lot of different personalization. And then if I go up to like the 2000s to 25s, that thing needs to be pretty ready to go, which is difficult, but I have seen a lot of good ones come and go, especially when I just wasn't ready to buy yet, I missed out. So we're just gonna hop on, I'm gonna get my screen recording going and we're gonna just have it up here and I'll be looking at my phone so you won't get much eye contact from me. Let's go. Alrighty, so here we are. We're looking in my, um, my Facebook Marketplace saved. I actually just found this trailer today it's um a 2002 Nash Nash. The thing is, if you can see there, it's all the way in New York. So that's pretty far. But I looked it up and it's about a five hour drive on the expressway. I'm in Michigan, by the way. So yeah, I really like that it's a double axle and that it has an awning. I'm not too big in an AC because I really like the heat and I enjoy being hot, which is weird for people. Another thing I really like is the size. They don't state the size. A lot of these people who sell don't state the size and like the length and the weight. That is one of the most important things when you're looking at travel trailers, the size and the weight, like for your vehicle to be towing. But if I had to guess the length, I would say it's 14 to 16 foot and double axle, which is super nice. There's the back, they're covering up the license plate with their little fangy. It's got a spare tire, propane cover. Here you can see the inside, bathroom. 
See, I really like this layout. The kind of layout I'm kind of going for is like a dinette in the front and then a sleeping quarter in the back or vice versa and then vice versa with like a bathroom and a kitchen on either side if you get what I'm saying. I don't know if it's it would be easier to show. Anyway, so in either end I want either a sleeping space or a dinette and then off to either side I want the kitchen and the bathroom and it can be flipped whichever way but that's a layout I like. Here you can see a nice fridge, you can see into the bathroom. So this one is actually really high on the list. I'm actually, it's only been up for 16 hours. So I'm actually hoping it'll stay up a few days and they might actually lower the price. Cause to drive all like five hours to get this thing, I would want it a lo little bit lower than 2000, but it does seem really nice for 2000. We're gonna scroll down here. It's already had almost 3,000 views. And this is all the huge thing they say about it. They do say the things it needs, like the AC may need a charge, it needs a new battery, and they had to tear out the ceiling over the shower to repair a leak in the canvas. I'm not really sure what they're saying there because why is there a canvas above the shower? I don't know if they mean the canvas and the awning because with this kind of trailer, the top should be hard. So I don't really, and they don't depict where the shower is and where ceiling was ripped. So uh, that is one thing that I'm not quite sure about. Next we have this 14 foot beautiful on the exterior trailer. It's definitely out of budget at 4,200, but I saved it anyway, just to look at. <laughs> I really like the size, it's a 14 foot. I didn't realize it was in Illinois. I do not like the interior, it was redone by them. Uh, that fold out little futon there is okay. But then you go to these rocking chairs and I'm not a fan of that. This one is not one I would probably buy, but I just have a, a tendency to save any smaller travel trailer nowadays. Here we have a Scotty. This one also is not in Michigan, it's in Indiana. I don't think they have the weight on this. I like that it has the propane tanks with it because a lot of them don't come with the propane tanks apparently. I like the interior a lot, even though this person takes really bad photos. Of just It's just super zoomed in so you can't really get a feel of how it's laid out completely, but I mean, you could tell. Like, that's probably the front, so on. This person also has no description, which irks me so bad on Facebook Marketplace. As is, has a hot water heater still in box. So the hot water heater in it is currently broken and it has a new hot water heater. They don't say the length or the weight, again. Uh, judging by this side picture here, I'd say it's probably 14, 16. I try not to save anything that's over that. Here we have 27. It's not really in my budget for where it's at in what it looks like but I saved it anyway it is a double axle and it is a decent size it looks like it's probably touching the 18 foot mark if not even a little bit longer and this is including the tongue but it is a double axle so if it's 18 and a double axle it's okay and it is within my oh right there it says 19 foot huh okay I must not have realized that the first time it is within my weight uh parameters 24 17 it's nice I, re I really like the striped awning on it the yellow and white stripes I love that it's cute but then again it is just out of budget and I would want something like this for 18 2000 or 18 which I know my um expectations are high <laughs> Uh, here we have a 4,500. This is the perfect size, but things this size I hardly ever see go for cheap. I don't dig the colors on the exterior, but the size is just perfect. 
We have interior, I really like that green stove. It's a little bit funky colored with the red. You can tell the interior is definitely on the older side, but I love it. If only it was like $2,500 cheaper. <laughs> mm, it's cute. You get to see some of my other saves. Here is a van I was thinking about buying because I honestly really do love the van life because it's just so compact and it's easy to park anywhere and you can find a spot in even big cities and it's just, you know, towing something can be really challenging. So I do know that. But yeah, this is a van I was thinking about jumping on. It only has... I mean, I say only, but for a lot of people, this might be a lot, but for a used vehicle, 127,000 miles isn't that bad in my opinion. And it's a high top. The guy says he's 5'11 and can stand up in the middle of it, and I'm a 5'11. It's a V8. I'm not sure if I can tackle a full conversion though at this point. I mean, I see a lot of people do it and I could probably do like a, a makeshift conversion out of already built materials and Ikea stuff, but I don't know. I'm kind of half committed to the travel, travel trailer because I really like my truck and I trust it. A big thing with me is having vehicle anxiety, like vehicles breaking down. And so I've had my truck for a year now and it's done me really good. And so that's why I'm going more of a travel trailer route because I trust my vehicle mechanically. All right, so I had to abruptly end that last clip. So we're just gonna go in and look at, I think two more and then we're gonna call this video done and if you want to see more of me browsing Facebook marketplace for travel trailers you hit that like button and you let me know but for now we're just gonna do two more and call this video good because I could look at travel trailers forever <laughs> Okay, so these last two are going to be ones that I have, um, I think I actually saved both of these today as I was browsing and uh, neither of them are in my state, which is Michigan, so they're not really ones I will be buying, but I still want to look at them because I love looking at travel trailers. I don't know if you know much about Facebook Marketplace, but I literally just go through Facebook Marketplace and I move my location to every single state and just look at the different trailers in every state. So yeah, I do that. So here we have a 16 foot camper. It's in Minnesota. They have it listed for 1850. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. What did I say? 18? It's a 16 foot. Wait. Six, 16 foot. Mm. Layton has a big fox sticker. Has a good amount of rust going. Again, they don't take good pictures. It does have a Dometic fridge, which that's pretty nice. <laughs> I also like kind of the layout where there's a lot of seating. So if I were to buy this, I would probably make that couch in the back there just a stationary bed because I just, I think I like having a bed all the time instead of like having to do a setup because I don't know honestly how often I would actually like set up and take apart the bed like if it turned into a dinette. So I'm kind of looking for a separate bed area or something like, a couch that can easily remain a bed or even like a bunk bed. So yeah, which that couch would be perfect just to keep us a bed. 1850 isn't that out of budget. Nice little camper, pool's easy. All around nice. It is pretty nice, honestly. And Minnesota isn't too far away from Michigan. So I do have it saved. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Again, they didn't put the weight, but I probably suspect the weight's probably in the high 2000s, like 26, 27 maybe. It's not like I'm an expert. And then the last one we'll look at is just this really cute Shasta. It's a little out of budget and farish away. It's in Montana, I believe, and MT is Montana, right? 
<laughs> it is really cute though. I love the length of it. I believe it's 10 foot and then 14 foot. It's 11 foot and 14 foot overall. So yeah, it's really cute. Look how cute it is. I'm not a huge fan of that box on the front. It looks like it's plywood, if you can tell by the texture, and it was just painted white. But it still protects probably the propane tanks. Going over, they did remodel the inside. I could see the roof has like some kind of warping or buckling going on, if you can see that. And then they do have a sink in the corner and, I don't know, some weird stuff going on. Here it looks like they have like a futon type thing and then like a bunk bed off to the side. It's a cute camper, but again, it's not really what I'm looking for at the moment. Especially not for $27.50. Has been on the market for over a week though, so there's probably a little bit room of room there for negotiation. It's a Shasta. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's the last one I'm gonna show you. We could take a look at this one, but it's on the pricier side. It's just a travel trailer, like all the rest of them. It's way down in New Mexico. <laughs> It's a, is it a little bit large? Eh, no, it's not that large. It does look like it was redone. I do like that bag splash. Anyway, yeah, there's not too many trailers on this market that I'm really interested in. The one that I'm most interested in is one that I believe I showed you earlier, which is this one. It's a Micro Light by Flagstaff. It's in my area or close to it and it's gorgeous. It's very new looking and it's very tiny. They don't have many pictures but it's so tiny. There's not much to post pictures of. You can see like how nice it looks. There's not much rust or any of the sort. It has an awning. She, she wants 5,000 for it. 5,000 is just not in the budget. I mean, the highest I'm willing to go is 35, and I thought about sending her an offer for 35, and I think I'm going to soon because she posted it exactly seven days ago. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more time and just maybe let her think in her mind it's a little bit too much and then offer. And if she denies it, then it is what it is, I guess. Unless I could save up more money or something. Because this honestly would be perfect. It has a nice awning. Up there it has a bed that I would probably just use as a bed. Like that top part and just get like a thicker memory foam mattress. And just leave this little dinette section as a dinette. So that one is probably the one that has the most potential for me actually buying it of all these ones that I've showed you. But travel trailers come and go so fast on Facebook Marketplace, it's crazy. Like I have to jump on them or they're gone. And even if I jump on them within an hour, they're still gone. So I'm looking and I'm still looking. And like I said, if you wanna see a part two to this little travel trailer hunt then you let me know and i'll get her done <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a fantastic wonderful amazing life